I don't like it. Hey YouTube, it's your friendly neighborhood Natural Lex, or you may know me as Chocolate Lex on YouTube, and I'm back with another natural hair video for you guys today. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing my retainer, so I am gonna have a lisp for the duration of this video. So hopefully it doesn't bother you guys, and if it does. I don't know what to tell you. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some butterfly locks. This is my first time ever doing this style, and I saw a lot of people doing them. Both Kimberly Sherrill and Natural Rain have done the same style, and then, of course, my good sis, Chelsea Cole, who is also a YouTuber on here, she did them as well. First of all, I've never been a faux lock type of girl, you know what I'm saying? I love a good set of box braids. Love a good set of Marley twists. And recently, I became hip to the knotless braids. But for the faux locks, I've never done them before because I really didn't think that they would look good on me. I'm just gonna be wrapping my own braids. These are some mini braids that I installed yesterday. I did them on blown out hair because I did want my hair to be a little bit stretched. So I'm not gonna be adding in any hair for the braids themselves. I'm just gonna wrap my mini braids with the free tress water wave hair. Let's get into these braids, honey. Actually, this is kind of cute. Wait, do I do I want to put these butterfly locks in my hair? So we got the free tress water wave hair. Um, they're all in the color two, and then I have one pack in caramel. That's what the color is caramel and I feel like this is kind of similar to my hair color what y'all think y'all see it I bought this crochet needle it's my first time ever purchasing one of these because I am not a crochet type of girl so I do have some edge control this is the style factor edge booster I bought these little ones because if we're being honest I haven't really found an edge control that works for me and doesn't flake. I'm gonna try to do some off camera first, and then I will, cause I gotta get into the groove. I cannot show y'all the first one, be looking dumb. Then I'll come back. So we are one, two, three, four, five, six locks in, and I'm not really sh Oh, what the, what the fuck? I'm not really sure how I feel about them. This is what they're looking like so far. So I'm gonna take a little, actually that's a lot. Ooh, ooh. Being product heavy is just in the genes of natural Like, Taking some edge control and I'm just putting it on my roots. Some of these braids I'm gonna have to redo because I want to wear my locks with the part on this side. So that means all these braids need to be going to this way. So keep that in mind whenever you're twisting or braiding your hair, whichever direction that you twist or braid your hair, that's the direction the braid is going to go. So I'm taking a strand of the Free Trust Water Wave and we're just gonna separate this out, make it messy. Just separate it out to where the curl pattern is no longer intact. The part that I struggle with the most, honestly, is putting the hair on the hook. It doesn't sound hard, but just know I've been struggling. I'm gonna pull one strand down a little bit, and I just did that because my braids are like super, super little. So I wanted to add a little bit of thickness, so. That's just what I did. Now we're gonna wrap at the top. We're gonna wrap the root a little bit. that we're just gonna wrap down now to make it messy looking 
I just don't wrap tight. I've seen a lot of girls do the thumb, the, what? I've seen a lot of girls do the thumb method. I've only seen one video that way. And I was just like, I'm just do it the way that I wanna do it. Um, at the top, mine is not really that messy. It kinda looks uniform. But when I start to wrap down a little bit, when you don't wrap as loose, that makes it messy. And also, if you just like pull the hair out a little bit before you wrap it, that will also give it that messy look. We're gonna wrap down. Right now it's not as messy as I would like. So I'm gonna show y'all what I do after my braid has been wrapped completely. Right now, I'm just wrapping it all the way down. Once we get to the end, we are going to put the hair up like this. So right now it's down, flip it back up and start wrapping back up. Oh God, I'm messing up, okay. You just start wrapping it back up. When I first seen people do this, I was like, I don't understand how their hair is staying and not messing up. But now I get it. This hair, when you rub it together, the hair when it's like not uniform and not in that water wave curl shape, once you disturb the curl pattern a little bit, you just roll the hair together and it stays. And also, double wrapping it also makes it messy as well because as y'all can see, I went back up with the hair and it's looking, it's looking distressed now. But once I'm out of hair, I roll it together and then if it's not as messy as you want, just do like this. And yeah, that's how I've been doing it. I did um, mix in some of the caramel. So like I just add that in when I feel like it, basically. I don't really have a strategy. I just do a couple of them with black. Then I do like one with the caramel. This is a really pretty color. I feel like this is the color that I was going for with my hair but it's like the off-brand version right now it's 227 like I feel like it takes me so long
Brian Little. Yeah. <laughs> It's six o'clock and I've been wrapping my braids since two-ish, I think. And as y'all can see, I still have all of this plus some in the back. I think I underestimated this process because I thought that this was gonna be something quick and easy and it ain't. I thought that because I was just only wrapping my hair that it would only take a few hours. I was wrong, good thing I don't get paid for thinking. I am so annoyed with myself, like, it's not even funny. I am so tired, my arms are hurting. Right now it's freaking 8.18 p.m. I've been wrapping my hair since like two o'clock. I don't even remember what time it was when I last checked in with you guys. I'm over it. I And the fact that I'm not liking the style that's just adding to my frustration. Is this really what butterfly locks are supposed to be? I'm just really annoyed and yeah, since I'm already ranting, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rant. One thing about this hair, y'all, it does get caught on each other, like braids will be sticking or locks will be sticking together. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm sorry. I don't like it. Right now, it is, let's see. It's 11.52. <sighs> they just, it's not giving. It's not giving at all. Like, I'm sitting here looking at my mirror and I keep looking at the viewfinder and we don't like it. We, who is we? Me, myself, and I, we do not like it. Um, I'ma give it a strong three out of 10. And the only reason that it's getting the three is because it's a protective style. It's giving too much of a crochet type of look. I use four packs of hair and a little bit of the fifth pack. This is what I have left from the fifth pack. How am I supposed to wear this? Like, I can't even. I can't do a style. Look, I can put it up like this. This is not cute. I'm so upset because literally, this style literally took me like two days. I'm sorry y'all, it's gonna be a no for me on the butterfly locks. Don't get me wrong now, I definitely feel like they look way better on everybody else. I'm not saying that it's an ugly style, 
I'm just saying it's an ugly style on me. It's a big difference. Like, I just don't think that I'm cute with this. I should have just did another set of knotless box braids. Let me know what y'all think about these. Um, if y'all don't like them, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Just don't come crazy in the comments, please. If you have tried this style before, let me know and let me know how you like them. And let's start conversation in the comments too. Let me know if you've ever tried a style and it did not turn out the way that you wanted it to. Or if you had greater expectations for the style and it just didn't do it for you. Let's talk about it in the comments. Leave it down below. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And follow your girl on Instagram at by me Alexis. And um, I'm going to see y'all in the next video with these dang on things in my head. I don't even, I have nothing else to say. Like, just bye. They just want to get closer to me. Getting colder to me. You ain't no one to me. They won't fuck me over my team. Way too cautious. We too sober to leave it. 10 o'clock, feeding for the quad.